normal averaged ankle range of motion at the top, internal moment in the middle, and power pro-valgoroid gait cycle that are shown here in red. Um, I'm only going to be showing you the right side today. Overlaid on top of the normal is the shoes only, and that's represented by the dotted line. Bear with me, this gets a little bit crazy. But if you refer to the range of motion plot on the top, you'll notice that there is a delayed and excessive dorsiflexion in pre-swing and drop foot through swing phase and initial contact. Also, uh, there is no internal dorsiflexor moment during motor response and a greatly attenuated internal climb flexion during trauma stance pre-swing. And the bottom showing you the power shows that walking uh, with shoes only is a pure energy absorption, which means that the moments are largely passive and not due to concentric muscle contraction. This is where it starts getting a bit more uh, interesting. When we lay on top of that now the solid gray line representing the patient's former AFO, you'll notice that during the swing phase, we have much less drop foot, very close to normal, and an improved initial contact. But that otherwise, there's very little difference between the moment and power profiles. This is because the former AFOs were very flexible in dorsiflexion, and they could not resist significantly enough uh, the bending in order to alter the moment or, pro or power profiles. Basically, the former AFOs were only able to alter swing phase and initial contact kinematically. This is the last line I'm going to add on, I promise, but this represents the current rate folks. And if I focus your attention onto the range of motion plot, the current rate flow is indicated by the darker solid gray line, and what you see is a more normal but greatly attenuated range of motion profile for the uh, you're certainly going to get swing phase clearance and uh, decent initial contact, but what you will lack is the full extent of plantar flexion that normally occurs. Moving on to the internal moment, you'll see that the current rate flow delivers an internal dorsiflexion moment during motor response and a half decent internal plantar flexion moment during terminal stance pre swing. This is due to the increased stiffness of the rate flow. If we focus now on the powers, we'll notice that we can get away from the shoes only in former AFO condition because there actually is some ability of the uh, current rate to return some of the mechanical energy that has been stored earlier in the gait cycle. There was no significant difference at the knee or the hip for the patient regardless of whether you're looking at the shoes only, the former AFOs, or the current AFOs, and that's uh, an important point. But if we consider stance, ankle joint power, in all walking conditions of the patient, there was more energy storage, which is anything below the zero line, or negative area, and less energy, energy return, which is anything above the axis, than normal. However, in the rate mode, because the amount of energy stored was closer to normal, and the amount of energy returned was greater than in any of the other conditions, there's a marked improvement in the efficiency ratio. And the efficiency ratio is simply the amount of energy returned over the amount of energy absorbed in a given gate cycle, as proposed by Hafner in a review article in 2002. The efficiency ratios of the rate mode are far below normal and even prosthetic values. Normal values as high as 540% have been reported in an earlier study by Winter. And a um, prosthetic study looking at a flex foot documented an official ratio as high as 84%. I mention this to put things into perspective. At present, ESR devices are merely mechanical springs. Passive devices only able to return some of the energy that they observe, or sorry, absorb over a gate cycle. Even a perfect spring at 100% efficiency would be less than half as good as a normal ankle would be. 
What's important is that compared to the patient's former hand pose or shoes only condition, there's a considerable improvement. We jump from four to six percent up to 30 percent. In conclusion, thermoplastic custom hand bow can store and return mechanical energy which improves the temporal parameters and ankle kinetics without adversely challenging the hip or the knee. Thank you very much. Thank you.